video on Anderson's TV, and it's a special day today. Uh, the lovely people at Gretsch are doing a social media takeover on the Anderton's channel right now. Oh! Uh, so Gretsch. yes, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. We're going to put a couple more Gretsch videos up uh, pretty much immediately after this one. Uh, mm. And there'll be some lovely people from Gretsch over on our social media channels uh, ready to ask your que answer your questions. Sorry, ask your questions. Ask your questions. Answer your questions. They'll ask questions um, for you. And I don't know, I think I, we don't have the full plans. There might even be an artist or two over there. there. We be. just don't know at the moment. And I'll tell you what question they would ask. They would ask you, please, to subscribe and like this they video would. and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if so, you want to see any more Grits videos, there's some up here in the pop-up yes. banner. Yes, so we're there. celebrating uh, nice. the nice. launch of some new guitars for 2021. Uh, you're going to see on the videos that we released today, we're gonna, we've got um, from the Pro Series, we've got uh, this player model, we've got this vintage select model, and in subsequent videos, you're going to see what's new from Electromatic and what's new from Streamliner 2. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, where I'm do you want to start? Excited. Should we start with uh, yours or this one? We can one? start with this one. Go on. So, vintage select. This one screams Gretz. 100%. Uh, there's two... Literally... Literally... <laughs> 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 oh, yes, that's Lee screamed. He screamed Gretz, and that's exactly what he screams. Um, so there's two sparkly finishes, a gold and a, and, a, and a silver sparkle. And then there's one which is a solid black collar, uh, which they've called different numbers instead of just making one as What is it, 6128 and 6129? That's depending it, yeah. on whether they're sparkly or not. Yeah, exactly. Um, you've got a mahogany body, uh, maple neck, which is like a two-piece. What's, so look at that. Sorry, yours is Vintage Select, yeah. so vintage what, what select. is it Vintage Select of? Well, so they've, they've gone back to try to make the guitars as they did back in today, uh, but these are called the 89, as far as I'm aware. So we're now saying that but, 1989 yeah. is vintage. <laughs> yeah, but that I'm, makes me well, positively it, antique. It, it is, it is though. <laughs> how long ago is 1989? How many years? If you, it's 32 years. 32 years. If you've got a vintage car, isn't that 30, 25 years? I don't know. I think the 80s is vintage now, which is bonkers really, isn't it? It but is. I know what you mean. But that's, so this, this model would have first appeared in the Gretsch catalogue in 19... 89. I mean, I know yeah. this this I mean, this um, model's been in the catalogue for way, way longer yeah. than that, but this kind of, this sort of variant of the but, model. But what I was trying to get to with that point is that they've done stuff like putting a, a lovely piece of wood on the, and a floating, you know, bridge here. So in that way, it sort of harks back to how they did it originally. Um, and then you've got a Bixby, the B3, uh, B1 and B2, I don't know where they've gone. Uh, do you know? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right? You've got kids. B1, B2? No. Bananas in pyjamas? That's no. B1 and B2? That's what they're called, B1 no, and B2. I, I so this is no B3. Idea. So Excellent. literally, uh, the cast out of the family just doesn't look like anything like a banana, but there you are. If you get it, you've got kids, you get it. Um, lovely TV Jones filter trunks in here. Volume, tone. Uh, this, I can, I'll demonstrate in a minute. Three-way selector switch. Um, this neck, maple. maple is it neck. a two-piece? It's, it's, got, like it's got, got like a, a little, sandwichy little, bit. Yeah, in it's got like it? it's like a. a lo I mean, I love these guitars so much, and they play so lovely. Rosewood fingerboard, slightly rolled edges, not too much, just as I like it. And these um, are Japanese made, right? Yes, yes, they are. So this is uh, for those of you that aren't hugely familiar with this whole Gretsch thing. Probably, actually, in the eighties, I believe Gretsch was. Um, all the production was moved to Japan yeah, under new ownership. Um, and so now you have basically the sort of the, the top, top of the line for Gretsch. And it's very, very rare to see these, but it's like Gretsch Custom Shop, which is still American. The, then you've got the bulk of the, the sort of the, the pro series uh, is um, Japanese made. So these two models and yeah. all the rest of the, the Vintage Select and the Player series will be Japanese. And then you've got Electromatic and Streamliner, which are more mass produced in various places across you yeah. know, the, the Far East of Indonesia and Korea and China and places like that. But I mean, we've, we, we saw with the Ibanez guitars, which are also made in Japan, that it's just... Oh. You know, when you get a when you get a Fender that comes out of out of Japan, you know you have to snap yeah. them up quickly because they are they yeah. are such great. But let's hear what it sounds like, shall we? Here's the neck position. Love 
love it. I love it. It's such a it's such a classic tone with the uh, with the filter trunks in there. And when I'm doing the I love when I'm doing the trim, this the bit here moves a little bit back and forth to keep the tuning stable. Uh, middle position. It's kind of a ringing machine, isn't it? Really, it's like. Hear the ring from all of I this stuff. I think everything on that guitar, the, the, the chamber body, the TV Jones, the, the Bigsby, the whole thing gives it, you've got the maple top, gives it that kind all of ringy. All the specs that I didn't get to. <laughs> yeah, it just gives it that ringiness as well. Classic clean tone, not really, for a two humbucker guitar, not really Les Pauli at all, is it? No. Um, oh, that wants to go. I think it's with gain for me that the Gretsch becomes such an, it, a, a noticeable iconic tone. It, exactly, and that's when you get, you can blend with the two, you got a volume for each uh, pickup here and a master tone and a master volume. So you can, I like that with the master volume that you can set a good tone and turn it down slightly. This is a good little shot. Let's try some Dane. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. just a bit brighter and raspier. I like the word rasp. It, I think for me, it, it sums up the, the gain characteristic of a Gretsch. Yeah. It's not, it's, the, it's just not the same as a Les Paul. I can hear that hollowness yeah. in it as They're well nice somewhere. They're light, aren't they? Like really. They, yeah, well, this not so much. I think really it's aren't. probably, it's less than a Les Paul, but it's still substantial, I would say, which I like, you know. Maybe it's just been a long weekend, I don't know, but it doesn't <laughs> seem... Here's the middle position. That's when I can blend or take out the neck pickup, for instance. It's funny, because I can hear so much of the guitar. Yeah over the amp and I think that's about 99 dB so you can see over there and it's but I can still hear so much ringing there's so much ring here's the neck yeah yeah we need to do something with the TV Jones guys man we need to try that's such an underrated pickup. It's a great sound. It's a Let great me just sound. quickly do uh, Gary Clark Jr. with the uh, Odin here. Um, if you haven't watched that video, check out here, up here. Uh, fast pedal. So it's anyway, a monster machine. These are, uh, this is going to be the most expensive guitar I think we look at yeah. on our Gretsch day. So they're about 26, 2700 pounds. Something, something like, like that. that. Links below. Yes, always go to the Anderson's website or your you know, local Gretsch dealer to find out exactly how much these are. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, and again, what do you say these are in? They're, they're a gold and a silver sparkle. Gold sparkle, silver sparkle, and then a black. Just a solid black. Yeah. It'll, I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right. awesome. Awesome. Well, so vintage select. Uh, basically, if they made it like that back in the day, that's how they make them now. However, they uh, over the last maybe five years or so, uh, Gretsch introduced a new uh, Pro Series uh, line to run alongside Vintage Select called the Player Series. Uh, and that was Play. really just sort of going, well, 
Are there any kind of quirky things on the old vintage models that, that maybe a modern player wouldn't want? Um, and then so player select. So I'll start with the, the Bigsby because <laughs> exactly. that's the obvious one. So this is, as you can see, this is kind of the same model. It's a 6228 in three beautiful colors. Oh yeah. Um, that which are on gorgeous. screen now. Um, I have the Cadillac green one here oh. with the gold hardware. They're stunning. So. What have I got as a player? I've got a different Bigsby. I've got a B7 now. So the B7 is a string through Bigsby as opposed to the old fashioned style where you have to hook the that ball in over a pin. That so much. Yep. It's such um, a pain. I still have the mahogany body chambered um, with the maple neck uh, and the maple top. You've got a solid um, color on there. But I, sorry? Is that a solid color? Is it on the back? Yep, same color okay, on the back see, as okay. on the front. Yep. But I've got a few bits and bobs, like for instance, um, my heel joint is now very slightly contoured to oh. give me a slightly sort of nicer feel up here. I have an ebony fretboard, I have locking tuners, and I have broad tron humbuckers, and again, a sort of a rolled edge fretboard. Strap so locks. it's similar, but different. Can I feel the- You got the strap locks on there as well. Oh, I've got strap locks. Yeah, that's Can a... I just feel- Oh, and feel, uh, feel the weight of that guy. Oh yeah, this is lighter. This yeah. is lighter. Yeah. Um, it doesn't feel like the neck carve is hugely different, maybe minusculely slimmer on the player's edition. So let's have a little listen. All the knobs and buttons and everything do the same as what Pete's got. Love huh? that headstock. It's a different headstock with a different logo yeah, it's on a it. it's slimmer I headstock, love that. isn't it? I love that guitar. <laughs> It's the amp, but this doesn't sound as raspy and twangy as the Vintage Select. Of course, I don't have the floating bridge. I have... Um, the, the kind of bridge that's screwed into the body, yeah. much like a Les Paul would be. So again, when I change the strings, the bridge stays where it's supposed to be, as opposed to that one. Yeah, the, um, the trick with these is always to leave, take, do one string at a time. Yes. Because then it's easier to get around and all that different stuff. Good you also idea. got a, you also have, so you've got a roll, you've got the rolling got, bar oh, yeah, yeah, to put yeah. underneath it, where this one doesn't have that so rolling bar. So I get a bar. bit more break angle so, over yeah, the bridge. And I get to hold it down, but I get that whole, this bit, like, you know, <laughs> Do it all day long. Get um, some gain. So for gain, I am again using my Pogo Zenray, which is this kind of great, mild, fuzzy drivey. <laughs> Again, I've got the same, same idea as Pete, basically, in terms of the controls. It's a very Gretsch thing. It's not, you know, it's about the only brand of guitar I can think of that does these, you know, separate volume for each the pickup master, and then the a master. master volume as well. But it's a Gretsch thing. I love the knobs. So on my knobs, I've got just arrows engraved in, and you've got the Gretsch G engraved in. I've got a G in, know, with an it? arrow. Oh, so cool, man. And I like the so ones cool. where they've got a tiny little, uh, you know, some of them have got a little uh, red. Yes, uh, the little jewel. diamond in there. Yeah. Did you? Ooh. Um, so <laughs> that's. Uh, I mean, it's very, very comfortable to play. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit less money than the the vintage select. Not a lot. It's still like twenty three, twenty four hundred, something like that. Again, uh, yeah, links below. But it's, Comes it's the case. The, yeah, all Worth hard cases. Nice um, hard in case fact, there. I can show you the hard cases. They are here. Uh, oh, that's dun, hard. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and I mean, I just, I love the little quirky details on this. I've got red. 
I can't even, you know, I've got red dot inlays oh, going I up the side this of the is, neck. This is, it's like, so, it's, it's, like, it's a, a tiny, thing. tiny thing. It's just Gretsch thing, isn't That's it? That's why I they like do it. the red dots on here. Uh, we've got a slightly different inlay. You, I've got yeah, the block I'll... inlays. You've got, I don't know what they call those. They're like a little, looks like a sort of a, um, like the White House or something, doesn't House it? House for sale sort of sign. Building with a with It's a called something Texan something, yeah, isn't it? Because I think that was the... And some of them got thumbnails on them. That one up there's got a thumb oh, yeah. where you just have the little thumbnail. Up. Right. So I think what Pete and I will do now is swap guitars for the final jam oh. out so you can kind of hear uh, how they each sound through our different setups. And, we'll and yes, if you've got any questions about these, don't forget, uh, and you're watching this video kind of like now, as in as soon as it comes out, jump on over, uh, check out what's happening on our social media channels. Um, and uh, if you're watching this video at some point, weeks and weeks after it's yeah, gone out. Then, still enjoy you know, it. Hope you enjoy it. Get down to your local Gretsch dealer and try one out.